gentlemen, if you've forgotten what rush hour in a big city looks like, the Swedes are here to remind us. Today we're going to talk about how the Swedes handle the coronavirus situation in their country and how they survive with no lockdown. These commuters on the Stockholm Underground aren't performing a victory lap, but they certainly stand out from the nervous European crowd. You'll struggle to see a face mask here, the government refused to recommend them. And though you're supposed to work from home if you can, many clearly feel that the worst is now past. And the question remains, will the Swedes in the long run be proved right or wrong? Cafes, restaurants and shops never shut there. Instead, the Swedes did what they were told on, social distancing and good hygiene. It's not a complete success, more than 5,800 died, far more than their Nordic neighbors. But crucially because there was no nationwide lockdown, there was no rush to socialize afterwards. Sweden's death rate is at 57 per 100,000 people, compared with the UK's at 63. But look at the last two weeks of COVID cases. Sweden, though smaller, has had remarkably fewer than the UK's second wave. There may be a degree of herd immunity by now, though that's not government policy and it's notoriously difficult to measure. Now the question remains, why is Sweden's infection rate lower than the UK's? Tegnell said that a main reason is probably because UK has a very strict lockdown open up and that everybody was scared about it. Swedes are taking a chance on their epidemiologists. And the health minister said that unlike lockdowns elsewhere, theirs is a policy built to last. That was all for today's news. We will keep you all updated and until then we will see you next time.